So today we're doing the pheasant with charred baby corn, quince and fresh chestnuts. And for me this is just a dish that sort of screams early autumn. Um, the baby corn's at the peak of the season, the quince has just started and so have the chestnuts. Um, I love fresh game when it's in season. Unlike a lot of chefs, we only use fresh game. I only use it for about eight or nine weeks of the year. We don't use it for the full sort of gamut uh, because it's available all year round, but I only like to use fresh. So um, yeah, yeah, when the fresh game birds come in, our normal, sort of uh, our normal sort of process is that we'll sort of alternate partridge into pheasant into guinea fowl. We get them about sort of 10 days prior. Yeah, we hang them in the kitchen until they're really uh, they're stinking and bugging. And then we'll butcher them down and go. So this one, yeah, with this pheasant, it's been cooked sous vide at 53 degrees for 22 minutes. Then we take it out and just rest it in a in, in a comfy oil bath that sits at, a, at approximately 50 degrees. So that gives me the moisture that I'm really looking for in a game bird because they can overcook, yeah, very easily. Uh, and then we finish it in the pan, so that it gives me the flavour that I'm looking for. And then we get that lovely caramelisation on the skin as well. Yeah, whereas the breast still, you know, pinkish. Yeah, really, I like the breast to be, again, yeah, no more than medium. And it's just a celebration of the start of the season, really. And we get the wonderful crispy skin that you like on roast chicken or roast pheasant or buckish. Process. Yeah, we also get a lovely even cooking process. Uh, rather than, uh, yeah, when you roast on the crown, sometimes, you know, the tip of the bird can be overcooked, and then down further by the wing tip or where the drumstick comes in, in the, in the thicker part of the breast, it can be quite raw. So, this, yeah, this alleviates that problem. So, I've got the quinces here, the charred baby corn that's been glazed the thigh that we've confit, and then I just glaze that in a little bit of the pheasant sauce. Now the quinces have been uh, marinated for about two weeks in red wine, poured and aromats, and then finished in some of that um, reduced liquor and a little bit of pheasant sauce as well. Got some Brussels sprouts as well. Okay. All right. And so let's dress the pheasant. So we've got a sunflower puree. You yeah, make some sunflower seeds. Yeah, that have been cooked for about three hours. We've got the pheasant breast. We've got the pheasant leg, got the baby corn, been blanched and charred, got some slow cooked quince, got the Brussels sprout leaves, they've just been blanched and glazed. some fresh chestnuts. A little bit of the pheasant juice. And some little lupin. Just to bring the dish together. It's a very natural, yeah, very autumn. lovely harmony of flavours. And the good thing about this one is too that we serve it you know, with a finger bowl like so that you can get the corn and you actually eat the little sweet corn baby corn off the cob and you can get a little bit into it as well. All right.